All right, so another horror movie rankings, and this time around we're going to be talking about the Alien franchise. Now, as always with these movies, uh, movie lists, um, these lists are uh, go from uh, my personal preference for worst to favorite. And admittedly, the Alien franchise is one that <laughs> is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And I was contemplating, should I do this sooner when we get after Alien? Actually, you know, I'll do this list again when after Alien Romulus comes out next year. So in honor of that, which is coming out, you know, in theaters, thank God, um, in, next year, we are going to be talking about this one. So, yeah. As always, it, um, this is just my personal preference, and I do have to stress, there aren't a lot of good Alien movies. With Predator movies, I, aside from The Predator, I can find good things about a lot of them. With Alien, and I'm more of an Alien fan than Predator fan, mind you. I openly admit, there's a lot of bullshit in, that, in those Alien franchises. So, yeah. Now, keep in mind... Um, there's really only two good, really good Alien movies. Let's be real. There's only really two good Alien movies. The rest are just kind of up for your debate. Except for a few. So, yeah. But as always, if you think a movie should be higher or lower on the list, that's totally fine. That is totally fine. I've got no problem with that. I'm just letting you guys know this is going to be a pretty unique one. So let's get started. So starting, we go from the bottom, and I'm always, like I said, um, if you, it, I'm always curious to see where you guys uh, have in your rankings for these movies. But having said all that, let's get started with the video. So starting at the bottom tier, and arguably these two movies could be interchangeable of how offensively bad they are. And, but we're going to kick things off with AVP Requiem. Alien vs. Predator Requiem is arguably one of the worst movies out there. It literally is... It, it has... It's so dark, and I don't mean that in theme. I mean that you can't see a fucking thing. The first time I ever watched AVP Requiem, I had to turn the brightness on my on my TV all the way up, and I still could barely see shit. The camera angles are off. You care nothing about the characters. You give zero shits about anything. Is there good character? Is there good gore? Is there good creature design? I can't fucking tell, and neither can the movie. This movie is is arguably what put a death nail for Alien and Predator franchises for a while, and they don't. It didn't look like they recovered. Pre, like Predator recovered with Prey. Finally, Prey. Like Prey got the got Predator back up. So I'm hoping Alien Romulus will you know reinvigorate the Alien franchise as well as Prey did. So let's go on to the other horrible movie that I never want to watch again. Alien Covenant. Alien Covenant, you could make the argument, is arguably worse than AVP Requiem, but at least you can fucking see it. Too bad you can't, because this movie? Holy dog shit. I can't believe this was made by, Rip, uh, by Ridley Scott. Like, really? I mean, the uh, like Michael Fassbender's performance d gives it a little more credence, but like even then, when, he, when he's like playing the n uh, flute with himself <laughs> he goes I'll do the fingering I still can't be uh, I still can't but go <laughs> um, the xenomorph is not scary the bio biology of it is terrible and s I hate the new design of it I ha uh, like the neomor it ha here's the other thing it had me invested for a little bit that's the uh, the cruel thing about the, all of this is that it at least had me invested for a good amount of time. Like it had me going for um, a li for a good amount for a good while. But then it just kind of fell apart, didn't it? Like it just fell fucking apart. And yeah, I could go on and on, but we all know that movie's garbage. Next up, Prometheus. Prometheus is arguably just a wee bit better than Alien Co uh, than Alien Covenant. Atmospherically, Michael Fassbender's performance is good, and unlike Alien Covenant, which I forgot to talk about, that movie, Prometheus has better written characters, albeit slightly, and the whole themes of the film don't make a lot of goddamn sense, but thankfully, there is some stupid characters in there, but not to the level of Covenant-level stupid. 
at least here there's some logic, albeit a little. Um, it's still not a great movie. It's a, a, like it's very cinematic looking, but it's a nothing burger at the end of it. Now we go to Alien vs. Predator. Alien vs. Predator is a movie that I, I still think is just okay. I think it is, just by the end of the day, an okay movie. The fights between the Alien and Predators, they give you that. It's, it's unfortunate this is a PG-13 movie. I wish this movie got to do what it wanted, which was be, an, be the adaptation of the original Dark Horse books, which they wanted it to be. They wanted it to be, like, oh, the direct adaptation of the original movie. I mean, of the original Dark Horse comic. But the Fox said no, and just gave them a piss-poor budget. And made it a PG-13 movie. It's it's a movie you can watch in the background. Or if you just want to kill time, throw that on and have some laughs. So now we come to a movie I don't know how people are going to react to. And that movie is Alien Resurrection. Hold up! I Okay, I acknowledge that Alien Resurrection is a god-awful movie. It is a shit movie. But it's a movie I can have fun with. It's a legit movie I can have fun with as like a fun, gory B-movie. Uh, it really is that by the end of the day. It's a fun gore fest. Um, that's a B-movie. Ron Perlman's really good in it. Ellen, uh, like Sigourney Weaver is a weird alien, weird alien clone hybrid. Doesn't make a lot of goddamn sense. But the effects are really cool. It's a dumb movie. It's a bad movie. Also, fun fact, it was the first alien movie I ever watched. Why is it that I always keep watching the sequels first and not the original movie? I don't know either. But it's at the end of the day, it's a garbage movie that I can have a laugh at. And I appreciate the I appreciate just how weird it is. So next up, Alien 3. There's another hot take. Alien 3. I I've grown to appreciate this movie. Um I like the ideas of it. I think there's a lot of character to it. Is it kind of boring? Yeah. But I do have a new appreciation for the film that's made me go, you know what? I see the the themes here. Having said that, though, yeah, like I've said, there's not a lot of good alien movies spare, uh, par for two. And really, no one will argue with you of which is the better alien movie, so let's get into it. Alien. Alien is the second best alien film, but is one of the greatest horror movies ever. I personally really love it. It's a great science fiction horror film. There's a lot of good gore to it. Great scares. Atmospherically, it's amazing. How did Ridley Scott do this movie and then do Pro Alien Covenant is beyond me. But still, thank God he did this movie at least. Anyway, so that leaves Aliens. Yes, Aliens is more of an action horror movie, but it definitely has its great charm to it. All of the cast is great. The cinematography is amazing. It's definitely one of James Cameron's best movies. If And I don't care what anyone says about Avatar. It sucks. It's just a giant glowing... It's just a... It's just Pocahontas in space. It's not interesting. All it is is ooh and ah. This movie has substance. Characters have substance. Creature effects by Stan Winston. Eye popping. Everything that was great about Alien... Go, times 10. But again, I will not make I will not argue with you. I won't if you think Alien is better than Aliens, that's that's a great argument. You have made a great point. Like I am not going to debate you on that. I have no problem with me, with because really at the end of the day, those are the only two movies we've gotten that are good. Again, we don't know anything about Romulus, so we can't really judge it right now. Having said that though, I will not if you think Alien is better than Aliens, awesome. I would, I would, you could, you make a great argument for it. Me personally, I just like Aliens a little more. So you guys tell me in the comments below, where do the Alien movies rank for you? Um, as always, this is just my personal list, so you think a movie should be higher or lower, that's totally fine. But yeah, um, very curious to see where you guys have, have to go for lists. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time, Multiverse.